what you want, you don't want it. So I went on a date with Sarah Shoemaker. It went pretty well. Well, it... <laughs> it went. It went. It definitely, there was a date and it happened and... And it was good. Well, <laughs> Jack could have used some help. I could have... I, everyone could use help always. So in that sense, yes. No, well, Jack could have used some special help with like, maybe like if he had like a dating coach right there just giving him live feedback. Yeah. And um, and hey, Patrick. See what I'm saying? Patrick. <laughs> so, so uh, John, this is Patrick Wood. Uh, and he's a, he's a dating coach. And so we brought him along and he's going to give you some side coaching uh, on the date. Sit upon your knee. Back at the bar, our date coach is finding success. So at the very least, hopefully, at least one person will get something out of this, and it could be him. Yep. See her there. She's with three people. She brought her team, which is makes sense because she loves sports. So she brought her whole team. And now we're gonna have a huddle, make a game plan. <laughs> It feels amazing. Right? Let's get I, some ice cream. Some ice? I think so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Wow, sort of. <laughs> so what part of San Francisco is it? It's uh, Soma. Soma? South it's of Market. Okay. Is there like shopping around here? Yeah, mostly down that way. Okay. Uh, down Market near like 3rd Street is all this. Fancy stores. You live in the city, right? I don't live in the city. I live in Oakland, but I work in the city. Okay. What, what do you do here in the city? Uh, I work for an architecture firm. We do a lot of like low-income housing and mm -hmm. uh, schools and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. What about you? What do you do? I'm a real estate agent. Oh wow. I feel like we should combine our forces. And I think so. <laughs> I think at least get your business card, huh? <laughs> City, City Hall in San Francisco. Twitter had their holiday party there in 2014. That is really cool. People go and get married there. Oh. oh. Yeah. What, do you, what do you feel about getting married right now? Um, I'm not really ready to get married right now. That's how I feel. Across the street. Uh, I'm not, obje I'm not like street, object to, but I, I'm going to be going back to school. So. <laughs> We don't know, like. We're not. We're, we weren't trying to get married today, were we? Oh. No. I thought that's what you asked me for. I brought my kids and everything. Oh. All right. Welcome to the ritzy schmitzy area of town. You'll notice older people wearing fancy clothes. <laughs> They've just. Ex right I think this is a good time. Oh, to we stole your Look door. This. It's a story time. Where are we? Welcome to Civic Center, a different part of it. Uh, we're standing right now in front of the Jazz Hall. They have, they've had people like Amos Rivers and Joan of Arc play lots of famous jazz concerts here. Saxophone players like Benny Miller. Is the Opera House. <laughs> we're in front of the Opera House right now. <laughs> <laughs> opera House. We were, as we were. Did you know that Franklin Street was named after Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> what is that building over there? 
Yes. Tell us all about the buildings, Emily. Uh, that is the backside, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, City Hall. Uh, you'll find in there some vestigial remnants. That means something that's still there after it's no longer useful. Kind of like tales on humans. Um, oh. Of servants' quarters and of old style aristocracy. Now, in today's current tech boom, you'll find that there is a new form of tech aristocracy <laughs> taking place with our overlords from the tech companies like Twitter and Google not only controlling our data. Oh, right now you can see some very fancily dressed people go by. Look at your old people in the, the old people. Okay. Uh, we're coming across uh, Goff Street. Do you know that there are four different ways to pronounce O U G H in the English language? Rough, cough, O, and one other one. <laughs> she's good. I like her. She's she's a good. I do little... work for tips. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was not as nice. <laughs> um, Fun fact about the boxing room, I ate here with my parents a while back. Oh, okay. That is fun. <laughs> John, how uh, what do you know of what do you know of her so far? Um, I know she lives in Lodi. I know she works as a real estate agent. She just passed her exam. Um, I know she loves hockey. She got into it about four years ago. Um, she has two kids. Ooh. They're right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> and how, do you, how do you feel about her so far, John? I feel good. I mean, she's very pretty. She has two awesome kids that I'm going to meet later, <laughs> hopefully. We're going to have conversations, and I'll find out more about them. Uh, she seems really awesome. She's got a lot of energy. Yeah. It's a nice shot. Oh, this is a great shot. This will be perfect for doing like one of those across the street. Oh my god, it's things. gonna be so good. Are you trying yeah. to get out and about more and dating and stuff? Um, yeah, I think so. Wait, wait, who are you looking at when you were talking? Tell her that. Yes, I think so. Oh, okay, yes. Sorry, Patrick's helping me. <laughs> that, that, that was actually really it's good. It's so magical. It'll be just like, it's street. like we're right here and then they're over there. They're they're, and this is where the ice cream is, so it's like they're crossing the they final frontier. Come. This shot is, I've waited all day to get this shot. <laughs> it is the, the pinnacle shot. It's the cornerstone of the entire It's the piece. cornerstone it's... of the state. This. If we don't get, if it, the whole- The shot, the shot! Jack, no! Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited for this ice cream. It is a public garden. Did you know that there are over 20 public gardens in San Francisco? Did you know that San Francisco pioneered the concept of a parklet with using individual community associations voting on how they want to use the space in their neighborhood? <laughs> it's a revolutionary model and it's been working for San Francisco for quite some time now. Now, if you'll follow me right this way, you'll be able to experience some ice cream that's made to order. Now, think about that for just one second. Got it. Ice cream <laughs> made to order. Okay. Who ever thought of such a thing? I only have like an associate's degree. I've just worked for so long that I have the experience to work. Doesn't matter. Okay. Like, to protect your people. So. So would you um, design like a park or a building? Um, I mean, I could do either. What What would you say you're kind of working on right now? Um, I'm actually I'll be going back to school uh, in June for information security and forensics. Uh, Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> you have an addiction. I think this could be the line. No, no, I think it starts over there. The line starts down there. I have a good question. Yeah. What is a really, like, what's your best memory from your childhood? Best memory from my childhood? Probably my cat, Smokey. Coming home to my cat, Smokey, when I was like eight. I don't know. And then watching soap operas when I was, when I was a teenager. <laughs> what, what soap operas? Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives. I liked all the pretty people on TV. I wanted to be a pretty girl. <laughs> so, hold on for a second. Yeah, they had This one? Oh. 
So what are your biggest fears when it comes to dating? Um, oh, uh, it's just that, I, that like, I'll psych myself out because yeah. I think I don't give people a chance sometimes. You know, like when you first meet somebody, I'll just be like, nah, but I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, like if they're younger than me, that's probably a big fear because obviously, you know, maybe they'll go with somebody else who's, you know, more their age, they tell me that they they really are into me and they think they're into me, but once, when it's like, it all kind of settles in that, oh, you know, she can't, you know, maybe she doesn't want any more kids and maybe he wants kids and you've got all this emotion and time invested. Okay, so, so John, what, what, what so far in the debate have you liked about it so far and how do you feel about uh, what's been happening so far? Um, I like kind of the group going on a date. I don't know, I feel like in a way that makes it a little bit easier and then it kind of makes it a little more difficult. Sure. Um, just because it's not like just me and her. It's kind of like, ah, surprises are coming at you. <laughs> It's weird because all you're not here, we're trying to save your spot, but I feel like the ice cream people are going to get super mad. I think we're going to have to go thing. back in line. Yep. 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 All right, we're going to order. surface face, <laughs> no. but there was a lot of internal face going on. <laughs> My kids and I are going to go get pizza, and, you know... I will be going with them to get yeah, pizza and beat them All right. without the camera. Alright, so... It's great. John's going to come with us. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> They're like, they just want their pizza. <laughs> You get what you want, you don't want what you wanted.